Alright, hello there everyone and welcome back to the Red Brain channel. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different, something I don't typically do. Uh, I... You know, the, the Steam Awards uh, nominations uh, began recently due to the autumn sale. Uh, and so I decided to go through um, the awards and put up the games that I thought personally deserved all of the, um, awards. Um, turns out there weren't too many new games I played from this year, but there were enough to fill the categories I needed, and ones I even felt comfortable giving said awards to. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna go through them, and yeah, we'll just go through one by one. Alright, so first... We have for game of the year, we have It Takes Two. Um, well, for those of you who have seen it, uh, James and I have begun, uh, have begun playing the game, or as we mean was Revel. Um, so we started be playing the game. Uh, we're only, <clears throat> I'd say we're only about a quarter of the way through the game so far. Um, but. We're both loving it. It's an absolutely brilliant game. Um, like, I wish more games like this were released, uh, but it doesn't seem to be right now a very popular form of game to developers right now. But it's like, it's so well polished and well done. And it's like, it's absolutely brilliant. And just me looking at the Reddit um, <clears throat> for this game, they, they consistently... Um, have such glowing things from the community there that are talked about. Um, but you know, it, it, it seems it seems like a a good fit for Game of the Year, especially with the game design, characters, all this stuff. Like, James and I, we're just... <clears throat> we can't wait to play next time. Honestly, it's, the next video for it is going to be out soon. Um, but we're kind of at a pause right now for playing it personally because... Uh, one of the bad things about it, uh, it destroyed James's hard drive by accident. Uh, which I know that doesn't sound like thing would be like, are you sure you should give this thing Game of the Year award if it destroyed your friend's hard drive? Fuck it, yes. Uh, go ahead and do it. So, alright, let's move on. Uh, VR Game of the Year award, I didn't have to worry about that because I do not own a VR system. Um, I have a computer that can run VR, but I do not own a VR uh, headset of any sort, and so there's really no games that I could put on there. There's no real VR games that, uh, my friends have talked to me about that have come out this year. They've been like, yo, this is amazing, so I just haven't nominated anything. Um, this next one, the Labor of Love Award, I gave to No Man's Sky, which No Man's Sky is a game, uh, I think I want to say I started playing it, <sighs> I think I started by I uh, started playing like winter of not winter of 2020 might have been winter 2020 it was a like winter or summer of 2020 I know it was like smack dab in the middle of the pandemic um so yeah and it is a game that obviously a lot of people were like oh uh, it's not that great of a game I think it's wonderful and especially with all the updates coming out like I, I I've seen the community sort of come back to it um Seen people recognize it um, as being a great success. And I think more studios can learn from the amount of love that the developers have given this. And then the community has come back to give it. Um, that it's not, it doesn't always look good to abandon bad games. Or games that come out bad at the start. Sometimes if you just stick with it, um, you can, you know... <laughs> Make something amazing out of a bad game. Um, one of the games I had to list off of my head right now that I wish developers had abandoned was uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. That game, there was missing a lot of content, and it was very buggy. Um, but if they had just worked on it a little bit more, they could have had a great game. Because I feel like it fell victim to... An even worse fate than Mass Effect 3. 
Um, but that's the story for another time. All right, next is Better With Friends, which I put Battlefield 2042. Now, this one, uh, if anyone truly follows me a lot um, of what I do in video game journalism and all that stuff, you're probably going to be wondering, well, why would you put this as Better With Friends Award if you gave it a 5 out of 10 on Phoenix Gaming? Well, the thing that I would say for that is I think that this is perfectly fine um, because it is better with friends. I, I have, the only person I've played it with currently is Bob, but um, Bob has Bob and I, when we played, it was amazing because every once in a while I get upset playing the game because people don't really know that anyone can revive someone. Um, but luckily with having Bob there, assuming he's not dead or dying, which he occasionally was, um, you know, he was able to get me up and then we were able to keep going and keep pushing. And it was great. So that's why, uh, outstanding visual style award. I'm giving to row 96 row 96. I have recorded footage for an episode. I've just not released it yet. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's such a weird looking game compared to most that are released nowadays, but it just has amazing art style, uh, amazing story. Like it's, it has so many good things going for it. And it's also such a relaxing game. Like even though there's high stakes, like you, you get, you get a sense early on. There's a lot of high stakes going on in that game, but they're more on a more personal level. Um, so yeah, I, I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll be sharing the episode soon. Uh, next one, most innovative gameplay award is Escape Simulator. Now this one, this one is one that I also reviewed with Phoenix Gaming. This is an amazing game. Um, and this game, I have footage also of this. Uh, that I'm going to share with you guys just to show you like just how awesome this game is. Like it's amazing. The developers, like, never heard of them. This was, like, I, either their first game or one of their first games. Just, it, it's phenomenal. Um, so, yeah. And I have some footage I've done with Chase, and I'm going to release that. I did want to do the a good chunk of the campaign, at least that way. But um, some of the audio got lost, uh, so I wasn't able to do that. But now we're doing the custom maps. And I managed to fix and make sure the audio was good. So, um, so yeah, you should be seeing that soon of us doing the custom maps. Next one is Best Game You Suck At Award. This I gave to Total War Rome Remastered, or for those who are original fans of the OG game, Rome Total War. Um, this game is one that I loved as a kid. Like, this was the game I played on the laptop. It's a game I connected with my cousins in. Where well, yeah, we connected our video games in general. But this was a big one for all of us because we could just have our laptops and bam, have it out. Um, but yeah, this... Uh, it's been a while for me playing this game. Just like Super Monkey Ball. It's like this. It's been a while since I played it, so... I'm not very good at it initially. But I just have to keep at it, go back to it, and hopefully... You know, figure it all out. Uh, next one, best soundtrack award I gave to Humankind. Um, I considered giving Humankind a different award. I considered giving it the Better With Friends one. But um, I just thought that its soundtrack really does deserve to be highlighted. It's a great game with friends as well. Um, but yeah, the... This, this game is, like, on par with a Civilization soundtrack, so it's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, next award is Outstanding Story Rich Game Award, which I gave to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Kind of felt weird giving in this one, because Mass Effect's the trilogy has been out for so long. Um, but I agree with it. Like I, it, it. I wasn't planning initially to buy it, but then I got it as a gift, uh, and I played through it, and <sighs> playing through it a second time made me made me love more than the first time just how great and grand 
uh, but those mean the same thing, how grand and rich the story is. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's just what I say about that. Uh, next award is sit back and relax reward. I think it's the last one. Yes, the last one. Uh, and it is, uh, tabs or totally accurate battle simulator it is a game. I just got a month ago, but easily it's one of the games I can just be like, sit back. I just use mouse and I just make up the dumbest battle scenarios and just be like, yeah, okay, let's see if this works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but regardless, it's hilarious. So yeah, plain and simple. All right. Well, that's all I have to say. I do want to uh, ask you guys put in the comments which games that you have put for the Steam Awards. And just so you know, nomination period. Let's see. It goes on. Don't really say. I assume it will go on. The nomination will go until December 1st. And then we vote during the winter sale. Um... And then the winners will be announced January 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, January 3rd. So, yeah, but I'd love to see what you guys, uh, what games you've nominated, uh, and if you agree with any of the picks I have. So, uh, thank you for listening to me uh, talk about all this, and I will see you guys uh, in the next video, and hopefully it's a regular video. All right, adios, and have a good day.